Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of saving for college. This is standard 8.12G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have an eighth grade student estimating about $8,800 for tuition and fees for each year of college. All right, so about $8,800 per year. We already have $5,000 in a savings account. And then we've got, uh, looks like she's going to be depositing money because we're looking at the future uh, value. They don't really tell us the interest rate, but if it's a savings account, we're earning some type of interest. So take a look at our columns right here. So our columns uh, that says we've got each of these has the initial balance. That's going to be the principal. But that principal changes because we're depositing $100 per month, $200 per month, $300 per month, $400 per month. We don't need to calculate all that. They have already done that for us, okay? But take a look at the values. After five years, look at that, $12,000 just for 100 bucks a month. You, you more than double what your initial balance is. $18,000. So if you do $200 a month, you're going to triple. $300, I mean, you're going to quintuple if you do $300 a month, and then it just gets silly. And you multiply it six times if you get four. So obviously, the more money you deposit per month, the better. So the student wants to save enough money, have enough money saved in five years to pay for the tuition fees for the first two years of college. All right, so this is not going to be that difficult because take a look at what they're asking us to do. They're asking us to look for the first two years of college. Well, the one year of college is $8,800. So if this year one is going to be $8,800, year two is going to be $8,800. Well, we're going to bring that together and let's see how much we need for the first two years. simply going to add it. Nothing fancy happening here. We're just going to add these two amounts. That's going to be 16, 16, 17. So I need $1,760 if that $8,800 is true. Now, $17,600, that's not an answer because it's not asking how much money would we need for the first two years. Let's go back and take a look at this question because it's going to be Kind of tricky. Based on the table, what is the minimum amount she should deposit into the savings every month? Okay, where does that come from? Right here. All right, so what I need to do is I need to take my uh, 17,600 and I need to take these values right here and kind of place them on almost like a number line, right? So let's just kind of number line is I got my zero. Um, I'm going to call this 12,273. I'm going to call that, this is going to double, that's going to be like my 25,202, which means about, uh, about halfway is going to be my 18,737, and then that's going to be my 31. Obviously, we're just estimating here, but the question is, is where does that 17,600 land. It's definitely not going to be less than the 12,273. It's going to land right here somewhere in between. So if I want to have more than enough money, the minimum amount that I need to save is I need to get to that. If I get to that 18,737, I'm good. That 18,737 is $200 a month. So my answer here is A.